Hello, and welcome to another week of Orange Baptist Church Virtual Children's Sunday School. Well, I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas, um, our family did. And I really hope that sometime over the Christmas day, you got to hear um, the story from the Bible in the um, book of Luke, and it comes from chapter 2, where it explains all about Jesus' birth. And that's exactly why we celebrate Christmas, is to celebrate his birthday and when he was born. So if you didn't get to hear the story, I have a very special um, edition of that story this week for you. Um, and if you did hear it, I think you'll like hearing my version as well. So I'm going to be reading to you from the book, book of Luke, um, the, the story straight from the chapter and what the Bible tells us about how Jesus was born. But it's going to be acted out a little bit different probably than you've ever seen before. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you remember um, after watching it that this is why we celebrate Christmas. It's all about Jesus' birth. And if he had not come, we would not have had him to save us from our sins. So... Um, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next week. You can also look at the links below, and there is a couple different things that are fun having to do with Jesus' birth, some songs, some stories, but also there's a craft where you can make Jesus a birthday cake. All right, I hope you have fun with that. Bye-bye. At that time, Augustus Caesar sent an order to all people in the countries that were under Roman rule. The order said that they must list their names in a register. This was the first registration taken while Quirinius, the governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own towns to be registered. I am Julius Caesar. Go register. So Joseph left Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea. This town was known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he was from the family of David. Joseph registered with Mary because she was engaged to marry him. Mary was now pregnant. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. There were no rooms left in the inn. So she wrapped the baby with clothes and laid him in a box where the animals are fed. Come on, Mary, let's go to Bethlehem and register. But Joseph, I'm pregnant. I know, but we need to go because we're going to be married. Okay, hop on your donkey. This looks like a good place to stay for the night. Let's ask, let's ask if uh, there's room at the end. Knock, knock, knock. Do you have room for us to say? Sorry, there's no room in the inn. We'll try another place. Knock, knock, knock. Do you have room? I do not have room for you, but I do have a barn maybe you could come stay in. That'll do. We're tired, and my wife's about to have a baby. All right. Joseph! Look at my baby! Let's call him Jesus! He is beautiful. He is the Son of God. That night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them, and suddenly they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid, because I'm bringing you some good news. It will be a joy to all the people. Today your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a feeding box. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel. All the angels were praising God, saying, Give glory to God in heaven and on earth, 
Let there be peace to the people who please God. Then the angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened there. We will see this thing the Lord told us about. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary and Joseph. And the shepherds saw the baby lying in a feeding box. Then they told what the angels had said about this child. Everyone was amazed when they heard what the shepherds said to them. Mary hid these things in her heart. She continued to think about them. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything that they had seen and heard. It was just as the angel had told them. When the baby was eight days old, he was circumcised and he was named Jesus. This name had been given by the angel before the baby began to grow inside Mary. La 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 la. I'm just looking after my animals in the field. I'm the shepherd. <sighs> what? What's that? Do not be afraid, for I am an angel of the Lord, and I've come to tell you that a Savior has been born nearby, and you should go see him. He is from the city of David, and he will be a Savior. <sighs> That's awesome. I'm going to go to him. And all the angels said, Glory to God! Peace on earth! And goodwill towards men! <sighs> An angel of the Lord came to me and told me that you had a son and that he would be the Savior. Oh, I will hide these things in my heart forever. Praise be to God. <sighs>